What's up guys, Darian with White Glove Auto here, back uh, with another GT500. This one's getting a full body PPF, every single painted surface. We are putting a Expel PPF on there. So before we even get started, we wanna make sure that any blemishes or anything that's in the paint, we wanna note that so that, you know, if we need to take care of it or address it beforehand, uh, we can. Otherwise you put the PPF on there and then you, you know, you have to lift it back up. It might be a problem area. You're not even sure if it's in the paint or it's contamination. So you wanna cover all your bases there. Uh, other than that, we just gotta make sure all the uh, the polished dust, all the contaminants are out of there so that whenever we put this on there, it looks spotless and ready to go uh, perfect on the way out of here. We're gonna go ahead and cut out this side here. Uh, if you guys wanna just follow me back there, we're just gonna go ahead and get it started and then uh, we're just gonna start slapping it on. First things first, we're gonna tackle this door right here. There's a cutout for the door handle, so we just gotta line it up there mm -hmm. and then we gotta stretch it a little bit forward to the front edge where it meets the fender. Other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just have to, you know, address the uh, body curves the right way and uh, I'll show you guys how to do that. We're gonna be weeding out this PPF. So basically the process of that is just removing all the negative space. All you have left is the pieces that we're gonna be putting on here. So I'm just looking for the cuts that the plotter made. They're very hard to see, especially in the, the you know, dark lighting and the shadows and stuff. So you kind of have to tilt at weird angles and stuff, but you know, you gotta take your time and you know, like anything and you'll get it done. So we got our uh, templates and our uh, cutouts all weeded, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-spray this door. I'm gonna use some gel in here and uh, pre-spray it beforehand, make sure all the dirt's out. And then I'm gonna rinse it out and spray it down. We'll be ready to install. So I'm just using the Expel PPF gel and we're just gonna put it right in these, these crevices right here. Hopefully it'll pull any contaminants out of there that we weren't able to get. We just wanna be extra thorough. So once this does its job for a little bit, then I'm gonna rinse it out. So I'm just getting this piece loose on the board so that I can just grab it right off the board and throw it on the car. This is not my cart, but don't tell Dan. Just getting a little rinse of that pre-spray and then we should be ready to go. My biggest concern right now is pointing away from the air conditioning unit over there. So I'm turned away from it because anything in the air can and will stick to this. So there's some cutouts and stuff for this panel. The main concern that I have right now is gonna be around this door handle. So I'm gonna line that up first and then I'm gonna pull the stretch this way to line that front edge up and then we just work the whole thing down. So now that I have this door handle area lined up and ready to go, the next thing I'm focusing on is getting the stretch down here. Cause as you can see, this edge is actually quite a bit short. So it accounts for some stretch this way. And then also it is equally as important to get this line tucked right on this edge right here where this trim is. So we just gotta focus on those two little things as we uh, stretch it down this way. So right now there's a, a pre-tack area right here if I just squeegee over that, you're gonna have what's called silvering later. And it, it's just a blemish that we don't want to deal with. So what I'm doing is I'm just giving it a very slight lift and getting that pre-tack out of there so that I can then stretch that right to the edge. And then I'm just gonna lock that body line in right there. All right, so I got pretty much the whole door done. I'm just doing this last little door cup area where it folds in and meets the bottom right here. I don't like the Beatles, but I do like when you guys like and subscribe these videos. So if you could keep doing that, that'd be awesome. Watch, people are gonna unsubscribe now. <laughs> like, oh, they don't even like the Beatles over there. What did I do? I got the panel all, uh, all installed. I'm just spraying out the edges so that when they dry off, there's no gel caked up under there and they'll, uh, they'll be able to go down nice and clean. So with these edges, I'm gonna let them dry a little bit. All I'm really gonna do right now is get that first initial like wrap around. And then once they dry all the way, I'm gonna go back and uh, you know get that, uh, that rest of that tuck. Right now, it's probably not gonna stick very well. So I'm just gonna let it dry out and do its thing. Hey, yo, the mirror don't lie. Look at me, take a picture. I got a little bit of liquid, just a little pocket of it. So I was just using the syringe to uh, to get that out of there before it dries up. So the cool thing about the PPF is it is self-healing. So, you know, you, you put a little pinhole like that and uh, it's not something you have to worry about. Just trying to get these uh, tucked around here. They've uh, had a little bit of time to dry. So I'm just trying to get it where I can close the door. All right, so we got this door all uh, good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and just get started on this quarter panel. I'm gonna do, do the pre-spray just like the door, the whole thing. We got our back against the wall, we gotta fight back. I need a Van Gogh Johnson for nothing, you know? Cause I just paint, paint this right on there. Now that I got this piece just loosely hanging on this uh, quarter panel, the first thing I'm concerned about 
is getting this edge right here lined up perfectly. And then once I got that, I can just lock it in. I can stretch all this back here because it's gonna be pretty short and you want the stretch to be nice and even so that this will lay down in here the way it needs to. Just confidence and self-esteem, the world is ours. I believed in me when nobody didn't. This ain't no freestyle, just some facts that's written. Come on, let's hear it for the boy. He bringing pain at the same time. Okay, so these I just have to go all the way around in here, and I'm just making sure that the relief cut points are where they need to be. It's a crazy cycle, but I'm going through it. I wish I was lying, that's why I show and prove it. So this curve in here, just being a little stubborn, so I just had to spray some tack and make sure that uh, it's gonna stay down. Feed the extra material into the curve, not trying to like stretch the material out away from it. So I actually didn't really like how this was lining up on this bottom edge. So instead of leaving it being a little off the edge, I'm picking it up so I could stretch it a little closer so that the panel lines up a little better. I could leave it if I was feeling lazy, but you know, we really wanna make sure that everything is exactly how it should be. And so that's why I'm just going to make sure this this bottom edge right here is, uh, is nice and clean all the way. Just some tension around here and that paired with it still being uh, pretty saturated it just doesn't stick very well if you put a relief cut here it'd probably help it but we're just trying to do it you know as clean and as solid as we can all right so we have the majority of the quarter panel done i just have to finish this a pillar section right here which you know should be pretty quick it's not near as challenging as what we just worked on but i'm closer to it i should get a statue in the front yard man i'm shooting up my stats like a shooting guard look at me take a picture trying to wrap this edge a little bit better so it doesn't dry out on the face of it. I think the plan is we're gonna cut this side and then leave that piece of tape there so that um, that edge can also be like where that butts up and you can cut you can cut on the same tape edge. According to Dan's uh, you know pursuit of perfection. Now we have to make this cut in here. So now that this is tucked in here in between the quarter panel and the roof, I'm just gonna cut the extra here and that's where the roof is gonna seam up. Yo, let me get a show of hands if you rocking with me. Ain't no stopping us now. All right, so now we got that edge all all trimmed up and it's uh, nice and tucked. We're gonna go ahead and install this roof piece. It's gonna be cut out for this antenna, but other than that, you know, it's just gonna be pretty straightforward. The rest of it will just, you know, pretty much lay where it has to. Now we're just trying to line it up around this antenna where the cutout is, and once we lock that in, we can just give it a little bit of stretch to meet these corners on the front, and should be good to go after that. Hog tied and handcuffed through in the back, zip locked and sealed up and tossed away. I don't know about your future, but it's bad today. I'm a prophet and a guru and the rap police. You in the belly of the beast. So we got the roof all finished up now. I'm just spraying out these edges so they can dry out. We can tuck them. So now that we finished the roof, I just went back to the panel before. These edges are dry enough that I can start tucking them now. So that's what I'm just doing. Just a little cleanup work in here. The mirror on the wall say I'm getting stronger. And yo, the mirror don't lie. And yo, the mirror don't lie. Look at me, take a picture, it'll last longer. So this is the GT500 that we did. It's a really nice Mustang with a beautiful color. We did a full body paint protection film wrap on it, and it looks stunning. Our Expo film comes with a 10 year warranty, and if you, as a customer, see anything going on with the work at all, if there's anything peeling up, if there's any bubbling, come back to us, we'll take care of you. We take care of everybody whose car we touch, and everything is meant for, your, for you to be happy. So this customer got a full body paint protection film. The reason I would recommend this is because he's gonna be able to drive around in any kind of weather, any conditions, and he knows that his paint is protected with our 10 mil film. I hope you guys enjoyed the big job we did here on this GT500. If you guys like the video, please help us out by liking the video. Maybe give us a subscription to the channel. There'll be plenty more content to come, and we'll see you guys next time.